Mommy, I want to spend time with people. I want my, my free social link times. God, when I played Danganronpa 2, I like I was like, what are social links? But uh, Now I would likely be calling free time social links a lot. Despite all my worrying, everyone in the dining hall was in a good mood. Were they really? Or were they just hiding the fact that they are planning on killing someone and getting away with it scot-free? Right. Man, for a moment I had no idea what was going to happen. I'm glad it turned out like this. That's right. Yeah, seriously. Is this a dream? Feels like you're too happy. I slept well last night. Also, I went to the bathroom and brushed my teeth by myself. How do you normally brush your teeth? That's amazing! You did all that with magic? You're so amazing, Himiko! I think she's saying she just did it without magic. Thanks, be to Atua. Praise to be Atua. Surely he helped you in his own mysterious, miraculous way. Here's a, here's a prediction. In every game so far, there's been two people that survived have been, um... One person that's kind of sort of stalking one of the other people, and the person that doesn't want to be stalked. For example, Toko likes Byakuya, Byakuya doesn't like Toko. Um, soda cans like Sonya, Sonya doesn't like soda cans. What if in this game, that couple ends up being um, Tenko likes Himiko, Himiko doesn't like Tenko. Now that might not happen, but it's just a parallel that you know has happened in the first two games so far. So if that happens in this game too, and that means they both live, then that would be three females already, which means the rest of the females are all going to fucking die. It would also mean Tenko lives at the end, right now she's my least favorite. But, um, but that means, uh, well, not necessarily all the females are going to die, I guess it depends, but if there's about six survivors again, then probably the other survivors will be me out. I'm just, I don't know, possibilities. Anyways, which is I'm fine with, I guess. I don't know, to an extent. I mean, I like a lot of the males more than the females. I don't dislike the females, but you know what I'm saying. Anyways, miraculous way. I see. It's Atua seems to act in secret lot in secrets a lot. Cause Atua is watching over us. Smells of danger. Smells of danger or smells danger? There's a difference. When uh when someone coming to get us going to wondering. One hundred percent. Whoever does, I assume they'll come today. There's no need to worry. Today? Uh, I think you're jumping to conclusions. I give it a few days at least. Ellipses. <laughs> Why the long face? No, oh, no. It's nothing, I'm just thinking about uh, who I should kill, you know, to get away with it for free. That, you know, never mind. I figure no one would listen to some guy who can't even remember his own talent, right? That's how Hajime acted. That is. What do you mean? Never mind. Really, it's nothing. It's quite the happy ending. Uh, I, I think, I really do think you're bullshit. I feel like he doesn't actually have that amnesia in that guy. Uh, he could, though, because it's manufactured, but... Either, either he doesn't have amnesia and he remembers his talent, and it's a really bad talent, so he's gonna end up killing someone, or I guess it's he's the mole. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. He's everything. He's amne He's fake amnesia. He he's actually a bad talent. He's fake amnesia, real amnesia, and he's the mole. I don't know. Hmm. Is this really how this ends? Of course not. Not thinking I blurred that out loud. No, everyone was staring at me. Um. I mean, it just seems too easy. I, I don't think it'll end like this. Oh. I wonder. Do you wish the killing game would have continued? That's not true. No, not at all. It's just, you know, prepare for the worst is all I'm saying. Fucking bitch! Don't ruin our happy moment, you fucking skank! Normally she's the one who's helpful. Fuck all y'all. Lipsies. Mm. Hey, Kaide. I didn't know, uh, don't know what you're so worried about. Monokuma's dead now. There's no way the killing game continued, you know? The cubs are still around. Also, Monokuma's just a robot. Oh, hey. Turn, Speaking of which... That's my cue to appear, Kuma! Oh, and he looks kind of like Yokai Watch. Oh, is he trying to feed off the popularity of Yokai Watch in Japan? Because in Japan, Yokai Watch is selling like hotcakes. It is literally, uh, I don't know if it is at this moment, but there was a certain point in time where they checked charts. It was doing better than Pokemon. Freaking Pokemon. So, anyways. Huh? What? <laughs> yeah! Oh. Monokuma! Of course they had more copies. The Cubs were acting like there were no more copies, but it was fucking bullshit. He's still alive? He was just a robot, you idiots. It's my turn, yeah. You guys are blind or something, Kuma? I am on a Kuma Kuma. You keep saying Kuma at the end of everything, and in your voice dialogue you keep saying yeah. So what does that mean? After dying in a tragic car incident, I've been reborn as Yokai. Call me Jibba Kuma Kuma. Jibba Kuma. Not Monokuma, Jibba Kuma? Oh, well, Reborn is a yokai, so yeah, they are they are cashing in on that yokai watch fame. Gosh, can't they do anything original? This isn't based off hype. 
Jibo Kuma? From now on, I am Headmaster of the Ultimate Academy. Kuma? You might feel uncomfortable at first, but eventually you'll get used to it. Kuma? Ellipses. Ellipses! <laughs> Did I split, slip up and not say Kuma Kuma? On your knees. No, die you fucking fraud. Go find another card to run you over, and this time stay dead. That's terrible. Such a low level cosplay, I can't bear to look. And you say it a bear pun! Kuma Kuma! From an anthropological point of view. I have an important question. Have you mistaken ghosts for yokai? Uh, no, that's definitely a yokai, right? Well, no, I guess it's, it's cashing on the yokai watch fame, and that does look like the yokai from yokai watch, but it's true that ghosts don't have to be yokai. Anyways, yokai just, is, it's, it's another way of saying demons, so. Demons and ghosts can be the same thing. Yokai mythological creatures first created back when humanity lived closely with nature. Back then, they were embodiment of unexplainable natural phenomena. You guys are buzzkills. That was all he just referred back to a bear. I was all set for adventure before he started yelling at me. You're really fucking this is why I hate teenagers. I'd have cashed for days if I was dealing with the under 10 crowd. <laughs> uh, imagine um, if there was a Danganronpa game and everybody was kids. I guess that it's kind of reminiscent of UDG in a way, but, you know, like, if they had to kill each other instead of kill the adults. Speaking of the lying ass cubs, Aww. where were the rest of you during the announcement? Why was it just Monodam? Freaking making him do all the work. It's loud in here. What's all the ruckus about? Oh. Wait, what? Our father, who we thought was dead, is actually alive? It's like a soap opera. Whoa! Hey. No way, Papa Kuma's too hip and modern to res resort to the death is cheap trope. Uh, no, that's exactly why he'd restore to the resort to the death is cheap trope. A yokai did it? Well, at least we got a new voice line. Yeah. That bit's already over. <laughs> what are you saying? It ain't over yet. I think we're still talking about spooky stuff. Monokuma says it's over, so it's fucking over, Cubs. <laughs> you should have told us we were still you were still alive. You've been making stew with your body. How rude. How would you make stew with the body, though? It went and explodinated. <laughs> Papa Kuma's standing here, then whose body is in the stew pot? Which Papa Kuma's the real one? They're both real. Hmm? But father, you said there's only one of each of us that were unique, like snowflakes. I lied. You're unique. I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. There's only one of each of you guys, but I've got loads of spares. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why do you have spares and we don't? Be quiet. Of course you don't get, get to have spares. You really think anyone in this day and age would tolerate the death is cheap trope? You know, from anyone aside from me? Hmm? What does that mean? Got it. But now we know. This school has a machine somewhere that can make a whole lot of popples. But don't you already know? This is a confusing thing similar to the Monami thing. Are you guys bullshitting when you say you don't really know? Because, like, Monami was bullshitting when she said she didn't really know, but... Are you guys? No, wait, she wasn't bullshitting. N uh, never mind. Just activate that machine, you can have as many pops as you want. What am I watching? This is a very weird way of um, expressing your love, but okay. Hell no! Yuck. This is an emotional reunion, so y'all gotta take your licks. Oh wow, actual, li and they're making use of the tongue they brought up earlier. Okay, so yeah, that tongue though, what is that all about? Is that foreshadowing? I don't know. I'm wondering what Monodam is gonna say. Yeah! Oh, yeah, yeah. No more, no more! No Monodam? Aww. Oh, my little cubs. When I see you guys, I just get so excited until I can't take it anymore. Yeah! You guys are so cute. Gosh, I just want to see what your parents look like. But you're the parent. It was me. Wait, I'm your parents. I'm both of them. Ellipses. I, sorry, I can't react to this. I'm just in too much shock. Does this mean the killing game is going to continue? Well, no, duh. I would have continued even if it was just the Cubs. Uh, continue. The killing game is going to continue? Stop being so down about it. What a pain. Yeah, the killing game. Such a pain. <laughs> it's not the problem, donkey face. What do you mean? The killing game is going to continue? Oh, no! The tragedy! 
That sounds a lot less boring, so I guess it's okay. <laughs> oh, Kokichi. You gotta be kidding me! It's definitely not okay! Is that right? So how's it gonna how's it gonna be if we want to end this? That's how it's gonna be. I see. We have to take down Monokuma and the person behind him. Well duh. Oh shit, what did I just do? Whoa, what? Uh what is this? Hmm, that's not true. Yeah, I don't that What is this? Guys. What? Reaction voice. You're right? What Okay, to understand what I'm doing right now, guys. In order to bring this up, I used the right stick and pressed up. I press up on the right stick and this shows up. I have no idea what that's all about. Can I check the controls? React. True. Okay. I did that that's true. It's been there the whole time. What does it do? What if I say mm-hmm. Sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it? I understand. I'm confused. Huh? Yeah, like that. That's not true. I don't agree with that. You might be right, but... It said that might be true, but... Uh, this is very confusing. Yeah, that's right! Oh. Oh, so we just get to hear the voice? This is weird. The left stick does not do anything like that. Okay, sorry! I just, just noticed that was a thing, um, by accident. Let's just continue with the, the plot. I predicted there would be a spare, but I did not expect it to be built within the academy. I do not mind. Either way, I assumed this would happen. The development was not surprising. And another thing. Is that so? Then did you also assume this next exciting development? What? What, is it over? Was the first murder your murder, so the get the freebie card is no longer in effect? <laughs> now then, I'm pleased to announce an additional motive! I just farted. Leave that in. Leave it in. Let them usher in the fart glory. Um... So, oh man, that smells. Usually I don't, usually when I fart, I don't tend to smell much of my own fart. You know, you smell your other, pe other people's fart, you smell other people's BO, you don't smell your own BO, you don't smell your own fart. I can smell that, that means it's really bad, wow. Oh, good thing there's no smell of vision on this. Um, is the original motive still in place though? An additional motive? A time limit is now in effect. The murder does not occur by night time. Two days from now. Two days from now. Yes? Then every student participating in this killing game will die! Uh, that's kind of harsh. Okay, so you're definitely an extreme type of Monokuma. You're definitely not... Yeah, because Monokuma and Danganronpa was never this extreme. Maybe just they never had to be, but, um... Uh, that's blunt. Mold to shreds by countless Monokumas! From the rumors... No, I don't like this. I don't like this. This this is this is basically just the same thing as the starve to death thing from Danganronpa 2. I didn't like it then and I don't like it now. Because it's making people kill I don't like it. It's 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 just like the starvation thing. Somebody's killing because they know if they don't then everyone's gonna die, and I hate that as a motive. I hate it. I don't like this. I had to think about it for a bit, but I don't like it. So unless you wanna end up as pink smears, you might I don't like it. And one of the main reasons I don't like it is because the killer ends up, no matter what, ends up saving everybody who isn't killed. And then has to try to get away with it in a class trial unless they let themselves get executed, in which case, it's like, I don't like it. <laughs> you know what I would have liked, would like a lot more? Here's what I would like a lot more. I would like it a lot more if Monokuma said something like, Oh, if nobody commits a murder in two days, I'm going to randomly kill one of you off. I would like that a lot more. Because that doesn't put the idea of, oh, it's inevitable, somebody has to kill or we're all screwed. It's It still makes you definitely want to consider it, but also there's a possibility, wait, I might not be killed. I don't have to give in to despair. It might be somebody else. So it's still going to make them want to kill, but it won't feel inevitable. 
I would definitely prefer it if it was something like that. Like, I'll kill off one of you every couple days or something, as opposed to, I will kill off everyone. I don't like that all or nothing thing. Anyways. What? Everyone will die. What is this? That's not fair. Yeah, I agree. That's not fair. How stupid. Why'd you guys even come to this school if you're not going to do the killing game? We didn't want to come to this school, I think. Shut up! You're the one that forced us to come here. Um... Quick question, Father. What do you mean by countless Monokumas? I thought we were, uh... Up, oh, once time ran out. Wait. What? Let's do this! Damn right, Lazy Caesars do their thing. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, I see what he's saying. I thought it was gonna be us doing using our Caesars. Monokuma's gonna steal the glory? Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to follow their, you know, interminglings. No, no. I'd rather not go through that again. I'd feel bad if you guys tired yourselves out or accidentally killed me again. Yeah, but... With the Caesars get popular, we could have real cash count on our hands, you know? Merchandising rights alone will make us richer than Sultans. Sultans, huh? Very tempting, but... That's bad. Well, you kids ruin your futures. You need to have your own kids and ruin their futures. Uh, <laughs> that's fun. Daddy! You love us so much, kind of. Oh, jeez. That's enough. Oh? Oh, you're still here. You haven't killed anyone yet. What are you waiting for? Of course, we never left. Why? Why are you doing this? How much suffering do you want to put us through? I see. Well, if you're suffering, y'all better hurry up and start the killing game. <laughs> then you can say bye-bye to the suffering. We can call it Dang and Ropa 3. Goodbye, suffering. Mm, nah, it just doesn't have the same ring to it. You bastard. To tell you the truth. Don't you realize that working together is pointless? You just knock it off already. You know what you gotta do, don't you? <laughs> Surrounded by strangers, neither allies nor friends. No need to worry about them. Well... Plus, you got the first blood perk. It means the first killer's free. That's still a thing? That's still a thing? That's that's too good to be true. I mean, now somebody's definitely gonna end up doing that, right? And then getting away with it and they just leave? Like, that's... I don't get that. Are like, we just not gonna have a class trial for the first murder? That would just be so weird. How gory! Killing game is gory, huh? I'm starting to feel a little queasy. Hell yeah! And if they don't play, then they're dead anyway. That's, uh... Way more gory! I definitely would prefer it if it was something like, you know, I'll kill off one person randomly after a couple days. The all-or-nothing thing. I guess it's okay because of the first blood perk. If it wasn't for the first blood perk, I wouldn't like it as much. But I think if you combine it with the first blood perk, it makes it okay. But but then, out of universe, does that mean they're going to skip the class trial on us? Because that'd be really weird. If it's a graduation, it's over-the-top gore, I might be able to stomach that. If it's gratuitous over top gore, or even, you know, gra graduatious, that's, is that a word? <laughs> Forget the killing game, then. It'd be better for you all. They all just die together. Oh. At least we'd have each other? Shut up! Shut up and get the fuck back! <laughs> what you guys decide next is all up to you. Do whatever you want. You can all die working together, or you can survive on your own. It's your call. <laughs> Indeed. Father's in the zone. I was getting irritated till he said all that. Hell yeah! Let's toss back some honey to celebrate Papa Kuma's return. Yo, Mama Dad, we'll get some pure organic honey. Pour some honey on me in the name of Kirlin! Mama Dad. I don't think so he's doing long. it. He didn't do it. I kind of want to see that honey. Shame. Oh, I get it, honey, because they're bears. After Mama Kuma left, all that remained was utter fear and despair. And suffering. Um, what are we gonna do? Nighttime in two days. We'll be here in an instant. Actually, it'll be here in two days, but sure. Really? There's gotta be something we can do. I can't die. The world needs my genius. Well, then just pick somebody and kill them. At least that way only one person has to die, right? As far as we can tell. I don't like that. I don't want. I don't want to die yet. Let's just make a vote, and whoever is the least likable character gets killed off. No, you definitely can't do that. Um, because you don't want to be the least likable character. That's just. Disgusting. Um, I mean, maybe it's arguably the most humane way to do it, but we don't know each other well enough yet to really do that. I don't know. Somebody just kill off Tenko and, you know, then we'll just get through this, I guess. Die? Everyone's gonna die? Is dying the only choice? No, killing someone's also a choice. Cause Atua says so. You don't need to worry. Atua will welcome you with open arms. Mm. That's after we die, right? Jeez. 
We can't panic about something like this. I'll do something about it. You mean you'll kill someone because of the first blood perk? Is that it? Well then. Did you have a course of action in mind? Shut up! I'm starting to think of one right now. Maybe you're gonna attempt to kill someone. They're gonna fight back. A reminiscent of Leon and Sayaka. I don't understand. Figures didn't expect anything from you in the first place. No can forgive. We gotta fight back then. Gojo must fight back. Um. If we strike them with some sneak attacks, we might not get a chance at winning. It's true. Sneak attacks. Uh, when you build, get to a high enough level, they do crazy damage. <laughs> uh. No. Kind of a Kaido move even involves sneak attacks. Gonta wanna help everyone. Come everyone, Gonta use body, keep everyone safe. Not cool. You're gonna go against those machines barehanded, isn't that too reckless? I think you and uh, Gonta could tag team at least one of them, but all of them? Eh, that's gonna be reckless. We have to do it, if we don't we'll die. But... But we still have plenty of time to calculate all possible options. Maybe you do. How terrifying. We've no time to be indecisive, we are being urged to make a decision. To die fighting or die from the time limit? Stop it! Why do both choices involve us dying? At least one choice only involves one of us dying, potentially. How? Are we really gonna die? I don't wanna die yet! Is that a lie? How realistic is that expression, I wonder? Shit. I'm gonna survive, I'm gonna make it no matter what! Uh, no matter what? That's wrong! Wait, you can't do that though. Even if you make a mistake, you can't. Then you'll accept the blame? Huh? Huh? Also, where were you going with that, Kayade? Even if you make a mistake, you can't... What? Even if you make a mistake killing someone? I don't really understand where she was going with that um, line of thought. Because... Will you accept the blame if I die? I have people who will be sad if I die, you know? Such as Renegade. He likes me. Um... Well... <laughs> I'm lying. No one will be sad if I die. No, that's a lie. No, that's a lie. No, that's a lie. I don't know if the same can be said for everyone here. So that means... I'm gonna take off now. So you can't be killed? You're gonna be in a secluded spot away from the rest of us? Oh. Oh, that's right. Are the doors soundproof in this one? I forget. I don't know if they brought that up. I think I would've paid attention if they brought that up, so I don't think they're soundproof? Or are they? Are the doors lockpick proof, though? Like in Danganronpa 1? I don't remember if they brought that up either. There are locks, but are the locks lock pickable? Anyways, take off. Where are you going, Kokichi? Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to my room and just think things over. Alone. Bum, bum, bum. The fuck's going on? Alone in your room? What do you mean by that? Are you inviting me to come kill ya? I think she's. he's saying he's inviting no one to come kill him, which is why he's going to be in his room. And lock the door, probably. Oh? Me? Not that. I, 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 I tried to claim that perk for myself. I'm way too classy to kill someone. <laughs> but if somebody else wants to be my guest, just not me. <laughs> Talking to you, it's exhausting. I'm going to go to my room and rest. Yep, you're all going to your room, out of fear. Got it? Miyu, you better not do anything shady, okay? I'm worried. Oh, yeah, that's some distrust from you, Kaede. There's no need to worry, is there? No one is going to kill anyone, right? He's made it very tempting. In both ways. Hmm. If someone's gonna kill, they should just go for the robot. He's not a real person anyway. <laughs> you know, you've got a point. No way. That's even worse. Uh, maybe it's worse for you. Hmm. So everyone feels that killing is wrong. But why is that? Huh? What? How mysterious. Of course I know it to be against the law, but laws are simple rules people decided upon. This is this space removed from those rules, therefore we've no need to follow them. That's enough! Don't say stupid shit like that. Even kids know killing is bad. Uh, depends on what kids you're talking about. It's common sense. However... Even if it's to survive. We're going guinea pigs on, upon a lab table. We cannot be picky about our means of survival. What? Yeah, what I said. <laughs> I only wish to observe the beauty of humanity and witness the depths of its sins. I'm guessing you're not going to kill anyone, at least not yet. Because you're just going to watch the chaos unfold. You have need no, to, no need to fear me. And there he goes. Uh, if you're gonna reserve, are you gonna lock yourself in your room? Is that bullshit? Or are you gonna actually hide away and watch it happen in secret? And in that case, we'd uh, already have a... Well, it wouldn't matter if we have some, a witness to the murder, because first blood perk. Mm -hmm. This is very interesting. Males in the soft science are pretty soft themselves, so I don't think you'll do anything. And the soft, so soft science is... That... If he was still here, he'd take that pretty offensively, I think. 
Well, no, I probably wouldn't care too much. He'd probably just be amused by you thinking it's a soft science, but, eh. Jeez. He's not wrong, though. Who wants to stay alive saying around grumbling is not going to change anything. What is, is if somebody does a killing. Well? Oh, there's a dark face from him for once. As things are, we're not going to escape together. We're going to die together. Or one of us is going to die alone. You guys okay with that? So, is this the part where we vote on someone to kill? Uh, I volunteer as tribute? Ooh. You'd think the robot in this situation would volunteer as tribute, but appa apparently not. Holding everyone, we haven't decided our plan yet. All right already. You can decide that on your own. Huh? I knew she'd be a bitch about it. You don't know? Your half-assed speeches won't work on us anymore, you know that, right? I think your speech was at least better than your speech uh, from Kamaru's speech from Ultra Spare Girls. I just edited that video. Then... Just come up with a plan for yourself. It's good, though. It's good to have antagonistic stuff. It'd be terrible if everybody was so friendly right off the bat. <laughs> then there'd be no room for distrust or discourse. Wait, Maki, wait! Well, then. I'm just gonna pray to Atua in my room with the door locked. Yeah. Seems like. Can I go and think by myself a little? I my door with the door locked in my room? It's a shame I won't be able to hide all my special art commissions before I die. Uh, or that special pillowcase I bought, which I do. Oh, and I finally got the d delicious body pillow of Makoto. What? But wait, you guys. That's wrong. Wouldn't it be Makoto with a Sayaka body pillow? No, he'd want to. No, he he definitely wouldn't want that, especially, especially if he's planning to get giggity with Kiri Giri. Uh, or Asahina, you know. It goes both ways? Giggity? Uh, that's one way of going both ways. No, that's just two timing. Uh, you guys, you can't listen to Monokuma. <laughs> Everyone, what wrong? Why everyone scatter? Going to wonder. <laughs> Fine, then all of you just do whatever you want. Mm. That's exactly what Monokuma wants us to do. So what else is part of his plan? Is my memory part of it too? If it is, then... That's a shame. Can I even trust myself? <laughs> That's a... <laughs> oh, man, so many callbacks to Hajime. Because in the end, Hajime couldn't trust himself. Huh? Antara, what's wrong? Mm. What's wrong, he says. How should I put this? I might have a question. I mean, I do have a question. This might sound a little weird, but... Does the term Ultimate Hunt ring a bell for anyone? Uh, yes it does, but I believe that was said before the reset, right? Ultimate Hunt? Um... What is that? I've never heard of it. Okay, it must have been said before the reset, then. What's the matter? What about it? Never mind. Nothing, forget it. Huh? Huh? Excuse me. What do you mean, Rantaro? Oh, no. It's nothing, really. I'm just a bit confused as all. Or are you? Is the amnesia all bullshit? I can't tell with him. Could go either way. Mm, actually. Everyone's a little anxious about not being able to remember how they got here, right? In my case, not only am I dealing with that, I also can't remember my talent. Maybe that means you're the purest of all, because uh, we don't have real talents anyway, question mark? I'm sorry. I'm asking you to monokuma with me, eh? If I say things that don't make sense sometimes. And there he goes. Uh. Rantaro! Without looking back, Rantaro just waved his hand and left. This is a very awkward time moment for free times, you know. In the end, I couldn't stop everyone from leaving the dining hall. Well, anything go right. I just want to escape with everyone, so why is everything going wrong? I know the answer. It's because if you give it a time limit, that really fucks things up. It's Monokuma's fault. Well, duh. And the Monokubs, you gotta share some blame. Was controlling him and playing this entire killing game. It's all their fault. Well, sure. What do you got to say, mage? Himiko? It's time for my last resort. Um, last resort? That's a pretty powerful move. Your last resort? It's magic. The magic powder. The magic powder? Like the powder that uh, freaking uh, Shuichi put on the door? No. Stop, you shouldn't do that. What are you saying? If you put it on sweets, it's really tasty. It's sweet and salty. I know, the secret recipe. It involves poison. I see. Oh, I see. You meant that. Or did she? Um, don't you? Maybe. Fight Monokuma. That only choice we have. Go to work hard for everyone. Sneak attack. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Pl you plus you plus tennis guy. Three for all. Well, tennis guy already left, but yeah. I'll harness the power of Neo Aikido. 
For the sake of all girls! And I guess going to covers the guys. It's no use. I understand how you feel, but it's no use. There's no way for us to win in a fight. But... Go to can no, no can do anything else. That is troubling. Is it wise to charge into a battle with those dragons? I think the maid actually might be helpful in a battle as well. Hmm, maybe. That's right. That's true. I get where Gontus is coming from, but we should calm down and think this through. Yeah. Mm, Gontus is okay, even though Gontus no good at thinking. Okay. Um, well, that was pretty much everyone all at once, except for Kaito. I mean... Don't do anything stupid, right, guys? So... I'll do something about this. I just don't know what yet. Damn. I'll definitely do something about it. Even if I was killing someone. Don't have a plan either, and I want to trust him, but he doesn't seem too reliable. Yeah, he seems like the Yas hero slash soda cans. Um, oh, actually, what does Kibo have to say? Hmm. Ultimate Hunt that Red Tower Mansion. What do you suppose it is? How would they fuck with your memories? I mean, I guess they still could, but it would have to be different. Any theories, Kayade? No. I don't know. It's the first time I've heard of it. I... It sounds so violent. It sounds like it involves us somehow. Well... No, disregard that. For now. Nobody has any clue what it could be, so it is illogical to continue thinking about it. Our more precise concern, pressing concern, is the current predicament, predicament that we find ourselves precisely in. Yeah. Precisely. You're right. Alright. Um, real quick, what does Kurumi have to say? I'm getting to like Kurumi, which is a shame because I think she's going to die. Um, Kurumi, what do you think we should do? That is troubling. It seems we must still find a clue before we can be cooperating with one another. Even if we manage to do that, we're still trapped here and trapped by time. Uh, All we can do is wait around for the killing game to start. I do not agree. I do not think that would start the killing game. Oh, you don't? People are going to kill others so easily. Well, they can if they hear that they're going to die in a couple days, and if they can do it for free, especially when they harbor no malice. Um, not necessarily no malice. Maki seems kind of maliceful. Not, not maliceful. Even when one's life is in danger, it's quite difficult to follow through on the act itself. Uh, except for some people who have done it before, like Roshi Hoshi. All right, let's get out of here. I think that means the only person I never actually talked to was Tenko. And I guess him as well, but, eh, who cares about him? He's the Maya. I need to talk to everyone about, oh, never mind, I have to talk to everyone. Alright, let's talk to the Maya. Um. Shuichi, what should we do right now? I need to move. Huh? Move? Shuichi slowly approached me in a way of, wary of sur his surroundings, and said in a hushed voice, Well, that's... It's morning before I came to the dining hall, I noticed the dust from the carburetor on the floor. Okay! Shit is happening. Huh? In the library? Okay. Yeah. When he said we needed to move, he was probably hinting at something. If that's the case, then... Shuichi. Can I help you in any way? Uh, okay. Are we trying to trick the others around us? Is that what's going on here? We're, like, playing along? Of course, Kaede. Show me what you need to show me. I am acting. We should go. We shouldn't be talking in the open... Oh, never mind. I thought you were acting at this point. Never mind. We shouldn't be talking in the open like this. What's the matter? What's up with you guys? What are you whispering about? Oh, we're just whispering about, um, you know, stuff, space. Oh, I like space. Damn it. I mean, uh, but, but not, not astronaut space, you know. I don't know. We're not whispering. We're just going to check on something that we were whispering about just now. Suspiciously. Hmm. And that thing you want to check is a secret? Um. Uh, sorry, all I can say is... Yeah. I haven't given up. I'll show you guys if we can escape from this place. That's a terrible thing to say. You're supposed to be the liar of the group, right? The liar of the main characters? That was a terrible lie. Get better. You can count on it. I believe in you. Well, if that's how it is, then I believe in you. God, you're triggering so many death flags, Kaito. Yeah. Thanks. It's not like me to give up anyway. I've always believed that my wishes can come true if I work hard enough. Which is like surviving if that means killing somebody else in the killing game. I just... Man... They brought it up, so I'm really wondering, like, down to two people, what does that mean? They could potentially explain what that means even without us getting to two people, but still, it's curious to think about. Uh, we still can't go to the dining hall from here. Anyways, yes. Yeah, yeah we did get to st skip talking to Tenko. Hey. Are we heading to the library? I suppose so. Yeah, I'll tell you everything there. What is everything? I thought it was just that the dust was gone. Alright, let's uh, skip the BS. Uh, make up for lost time in Danganronpa 2, where I never bothered doing this jump thing. 
But th I never bothered doing it because of the Monokuma pet, but now we don't have it, so let's just do it. Um, as far as I know, we don't have a Monokuma pet. To the library we go! Surprised there's still no free times. Even with two- well, maybe- are we gonna get, like, maybe one day of free times before the first murder happens? Hey. Maybe the first murder will happen before, uh, the free times, but it'll be the blood perk murder, so there will be no try- I don't know, that's weird. I'll explain everything. First, take a look at the card reader. Shuichi said this, he moved the bookcase through the hidden door. Okay. What do we got? Nothing immediately jumps out to me. Peeked into the gap of the card reader. Uh. The dust is gone! I don't even notice it, but okay. I'm... That's right, I checked it right after nighttime yesterday, and the dust was our... Dust was there! <clears throat> okay. Oh, hiccups again, I'm out of water, God damn it! I'm out of water in such an early <gasps> session in Danganronpa, God damn it! I should probably be ending the session soon anyways, but I'll go a little bit further. My goal is to get to the free times before I end it, but we'll see if I can manage that. This morning it was gone. That means someone entered this door during nighttime? Could it be? Got me thinking. This may sound far fetched, but. That's one of Kuma's revivals related to this door somehow. Oh, interesting. Which means maybe it's not that one of us is a spy, but one of us is Monokuma. And after the fuck up with the cubs, they had to go into the door and fix things before coming back out. Possibly. Huh? How so? If I remember correctly... Remember what the Monocub said? School's a machine somewhere that can pop... That can uh, make a whole lot of pops. Interesting. Just activate the machine, you can have as many spare pops as you want. Hmm. So there's a machine that can build spare Monokumas? Because... Explain why we saw Monokuma alive and well in the morning. Um, so there's not spares normally, but there's a machine that can make spares? Which means he had to activate the machine to make the spare. Like, okay, if they're AI robots that are being that are aren't actually um, being controlled, like, because if they're if they're working for one of us students, if one of us is the controller, then maybe it's more that we're we're going in there and making one of the monokumas, and then we come back out from the door, which would lead into one, the whoever the mole is actually being the mastermind, which uh, is kind of what I you know would make sense to me, because the mole and the mastermind being different people and both being evil is a little bit suspect. Um, at nighttime, someone went through this door and activated the machine. And then there's the Monokuma, what Monokuma just told us. A time limit is now in effect. If a murder is not occur by nighttime two days from now. Yeah, that's a new rule that he made just now. As a reaction to Kaede being so hopeful and it pissing him off. Like when he went in to make the new Monokuma, he programmed that into the AI. Possibly. That auto automatically makes uh, the robot the most suspicious because he's a robot. Especially also because he seems to share a voice actor with Mono Dam, but yeah. And every student forced to participate in this killing game will die. I mean, said Monokuma. I knew it. We phrased it seemed peculiar. Why not just everyone will die? Oh? How do you phrase it? Every student forced to participate in this killing game will die. Because not everyone here is a student? Is that what you're saying? He went out of his way to specifically say that students forced to participate will die. Oh! That's true! Every student forced to participate will die. Which means any student that isn't forced to participate won't die. Intriguing! So may what if we're all participating of our own free will somehow? Like we all wanted to be part of this killing game. Kind of a twist on Danganronpa 1 where they all wanted to be part of the shelter. But now we actually all want to be part of the killing game. In that case, in two days time, nobody would die. But we don't know that. And then if somebody dies anyway because of murder, that's something I can see Monokuma doing. And it's still like not feeling bullshit. Because the way it is now, if everybody dies, if nobody kills them within two days, that would feel bullshit to me. But if it's that we wouldn't actually die, but he's just saying that we'll die, but wording it in a way that makes it so there's a loophole and none of us would actually die, or only some of us would die, then I guess that's kind of... I, I don't know. It's the thought that counts? That It's the thought that counts that kind of makes me hate that, but that way of wording it. But it's still clever, I guess, in that sense. Anyways. 
It's just that, as far as we know, if we don't kill someone, everybody's gonna die. But again, the blood perp kind of makes up for it. And it makes it work, sort of. Anyways, you get what I'm saying. I think. It was confusing. I hope I got my thoughts out correctly. Um... But why? That's true. The deduction is that one of us volunteered to participate and wasn't forced. The mole. Or maybe we all volunteered to participate. That's also a possibility. I think Monokuma's talked about that a little bit before. That would mean that they would avoid execution without breaking any rules. Perhaps that's why Monokuma said it that way. Huh? And that person's the one in our group who's cooperating with Monokuma? That's... I don't know if Monokuma is that strict with rules, but if he is trying to protect someone, that would imply that he, they're doing more than just cooperating with Monokuma. Possibly even controlling Monokuma. Huh? What? Because... I believe that if one of us can create spare Monokumas, they're the mastermind of this killing game. Yep, the mole and the mastermind are one and the same. That would make the most sense. Um... The person who's responsible for all our suffering is one of us? I would assume so. Uh, okay. Of course, this is just what I've deduced, but it's entirely plausible. And possible. That's why I didn't want to talk about this in front of everyone. If we told them now, they might all try to find the mastermind and be led to murder. I'm... That's why I can only tell you, Kaede. You seem to trust me quite a bit. Ellipsy is the mastermind, the one controlling Monokuma. I can't believe the person responsible for our suffering could be amongst us. Still then, does he really have to be so strict with his own rules? If he's a robot, maybe he does. Maybe. Is that too obvious? Um, probably. But, um... I mean, you'd think if, uh, if he kills everybody else, he has no reason to follow his own rules, but I guess he could be, like, a perfectionist who has to follow the rules, and he feels like if he breaks them, he, he just can't live with himself. Who among us is a perfectionist, then? That's something to think about. Like, he even has to follow rules set by himself, kind of. It's hard to accept, but if it's true, I can't forgive them. Or maybe they just love clever wording. Maybe. What do you plan to do now, Shuichi? We're gonna find this mastermind, right? I'm... Thinking of taking the risk. Just before time expires. Uh, what are you gonna do? I believe the mastermind will come here just before time is up and I can expose them. That's sketchy. You could be a murder victim. You could be... You could be, uh, very much paralleling Sayaka in that case. Huh? Wait, uh, how do you know they'll come here right before time's up? Because they're gonna have to make another announcement, right? Which means... Unless Monokuma's already pre-programmed to do that. That's... I'm extrapolating from something Monokuma told us earlier. This is very interesting. I'm all distracted by countless Monokumas from the rumor Monokuma mach making a machine. Would mean you'd have to make more Monokumas to do said mauling, if you're actually going to do that. And then that raises the question, is Monokuma and Monokuma cubs the same person or different people? Hmm. Hmm. Produce a large number of Monokumas, the mastermind would have to come here. They would have to get into the hidden room to activate the machine. But again, why not just use the Exceasels? Why risk it? Uh, unless, of course, again, he has to obey his own law, own rules. Because he's some kind of perfectionist or something. Like, if he said that he's going to make all the Monokuma machines, then he's going to do it. Because either to make the game fun, to give a chance of being found out, or because he's some kind of weird perfectionist that has to follow his own rules. But even then, he should still say that the Exceasels should do it. Which is going more towards he's trying to make the game fun and less towards perfectionist. I don't know. Unless there's some reason he can't use the Exceasels. Like, they're malfunctioning? Because the last time he tried to use one, it killed his, killed himself, kind of? Was that an actual malfunction? So that's why he doesn't want to trust the uh, Exceasels right now? Like, he has to do some tinkering on them? Hmm, I guess that's possible. Well, Of course, none of this is certain. There's a chance the Mastermind won't show. Like I said, it's a risk. But... But I'm willing to take it. It's better than just sitting around waiting to die. True. Okay. Well, that is what uh, Kyoko and Byakuya said at the end of Dengar 1, you know. You know, eventually you gotta take a risk, kind of. Um, and I guess if we want to go that far, you know, I think, like, Kamaru and Shirokuma said that in Ultra Spare Girls. But they didn't say it. They weren't as cool when they said it. And, and they were much later in the game when they said it. So, the fact that they're saying it this early means, you know, you're, you're really on the ball. It's weird, really weird that you're only a wannabe ultimate. You seem, you seem almost like you're doing more detective work than Kyoko. Or at least, you're being more open about it. That's the thing. Kyoko was probably doing her own detective work just as much. She was just never as open about it to Makoto for a while. Um, so that's the difference with you. You're being open about it for some reason. I see. 
Why do you trust me so much? That is suspicious, honestly. Maybe it's because you feel like you have to trust someone, or you're gonna go crazy. Like, you feel like you want at least one person as your friend. I guess that makes sense, but still, jumping to trust me so easily is, is a little is a little sketchy, but I can kind of get it. Anyways. All right. I'll take the risk with you. But... Okay, this is just my deduction. It's possible that I'm wrong. Of course. I know, but I made up my mind. And besides, if we stay together, that means you have an alibi for the first murder, assuming you're not the victim. You told me about this, so that must mean you trust me, right, Shinichi? Maybe. Yeah. I'll trust you too. Unless she's kind of, he's gonna be the killer and trying to set up some weird, fucked up, um, mo uh, alibi. That's also possible. Ellipses. You know? I don't have a good idea of my own, so obviously. Uh, so obviously I'll help with yours. Mm-hmm. Now let's expose the mastermind together, Shinichi. Thank you. Thank you, Kaede. You have a way of encouraging me. I guess I can see that. Maybe he just has this weird subconscious thing of really liking me. And so he's approaching me and... And there's nothing, no ulterior motive, maybe. Mm. Never expect this to happen, though. Can't believe our enemy is within our group, hiding in plain sight. Uh, okay. Yeah. Aww. I guess that would lead into the interpretation that they really enjoy the game. And so that would make some sense why they're willing to take risks to get themselves exposed. Maybe. Now that we know this, I should stop saying everyone needs to work together. Well, still, you should keep saying that, at least in front of everyone. But whoever the mastermind is, we'll expose them and help everyone else escape. When this is all behind us, we're gonna stay good friends. It's a promise, okay? Hopefully. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, he's blushing. He's already got a crush on me. You're kind of triggering some death lags, honestly. What if he died? Yeah, I did say the detective tends to die early, but I'm like, oh, they're gonna subvert it because he's gonna be a wannabe detective. Wannabe detective. But he doesn't seem very wannabe. He seems very much not wannabe, which means maybe they aren't gonna subvert it. They're gonna double subvert it, and he is gonna die. I don't know. We'll see. After we reapplied the dust to the card reader, I left Shuichi. Turn to my room. Free time? Free time? Free time? Looks like night time. No, maybe? Two days from now, at the stroke of night time, that's when the time load expires. Till then, I guess I'll check the others. I'm a little worried about them. Free time! Well, at the academy, you will have free time every now and then. During your free time, you can spend time with other students to strengthen your bond with them. You can also give them a present to strengthen those bonds further. You can buy presents at the school store or win them at the Mono Mono Machine. That's right, I haven't been to the store yet. Uh, if your bond gets strong enough, an intimate event might occur. Nice! You don't have free time forever. Spending time with someone passes time. This is... You also end free time going straight to bed. By yourself, that is. This is just by yourself. I wouldn't skip it, but if you'd rather be alone... That's cool, too. I just remember the Nagito. At the very last line. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and save here, because I said I would, and I'm, you know, gonna stick to that. Um, I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Danganronpa um, 3, Killing Harmony. Until then, I still don't have an outro phrase. Uh, things are getting interesting. I'm seeing lots of death flags and kill flags, and the, man, the freaking first blood perk is really interesting. How are they gonna follow up on that? And also, I'm really enjoying um, Shuichi's detective work. I might even stop calling him Shuichi, just because I'm a little scared he actually might die now. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, see you guys in the next one. Um, my first prediction for early deaths are still kind of the same, but um, we'll see. See you guys then.